By the end of the century, man's destruction of the Earth's environment turned the forces of nature upon him. There are many stories about the converging earthquakes that split continents apart, mixing civilizations together, about the floods that buried the cities, and the emergence of a river of wind called the slipstream that washed the planet clean. Those stories all happened years ago. But this story is about a fugitive traveling the slipstream who needed a friend. early bonds of earth put out my hand and touch the face of god crazy bastard he thought the wind would save him It's rabbit. Abigail. Guess who's back? Now tell me how much you miss me. Like the plague. Mm, that's my girl always joking. Hey, Mark, what are you doing here? Same old thing, Petros. Trying to figure out how to pay for last night's good time. I brought you a present. Oh, she's adorable. I knew you'd like her. 
What would you say to an even trade? Forget it. You'd be gone first thing in the morning, just like before. I have a heart, baby. I've been traveling the street for days, and I'm starving. Hey, Petros! Can I have the fries for table six, please? Hey, Abigail, you forgot the fries on table six? Table six. Get it there by Christmas. Thanks, baby. See you later, baby. You know, if this was a luxury liner, I'd order us some champagne and caviar. Well, it's a dive, so save it for someone else. Careful. A friend of mine's a proprietor. Oh, yeah? Tell him the food stinks, there's no salad forks, the crystal's got water spots, and I don't particularly like the lowlifes that hang out here. Thanks, Hey, Slobo. Wait a second, darling. She wouldn't be referring to me. Lowlifes. Bottom feeders. You know who you are. Now beat it, will you? Oh. Fight dirty, don't you, lady? Buzz off and die, fly. You must have been rowed too hard. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> I saw that girl fight a rattlesnake once. She got in the first two bites. I can believe that. She fights lower than a snake's hips. <laughs> Another coffee, please. All right, sit down. Thanks. He doesn't need a drink. Will Tasker. Don't think I caught you, man. Matt Owens. To the Rattler. What brings you here? I'm a businessman. Buy and sell things. Yeah? What kind of things? Might be interested. Well, I just lucked into some nice military hardware. Step into my office. What are you in the market for? How about a charging pump? Usable air cartridges? Some nice uh, spare muzzle plugs? Uh, you know, these days, most people want to take the law into their own hands just so they can break it. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to turn this in. Wait a second. Who the hell do you think you are? The law. <laughs> well, I was going to I was going to turn it in anyway. Save me the trip. Listen, why don't you take this chute? I mean, it's reinforced nylon webbing, and it's great, but I know it belongs to somebody. Hey, thanks for the coffee. Have a nice day. Those nuts think their lead is a prophet, you know? The, the wind blew in. <laughs> Cowboy. Hey, don't worry about him. Just because he's got a badge, he thinks he's a lone ranger. Perhaps he is. Yeah. I never heard of the law getting out this far. This guy's after something. Yeah, and he just got him. What'd he do? Rumor is the suit just killed the guy. Snapped his neck like a dry twig. I heard it was some defenseless old man. Taking him to the settlement, then hanging down there. He doesn't look like a killer to me. You look at his eyes, like death himself. Staring right through you. There's a reward on his head. <laughs> you guys don't know Diddley. There must be something special about this guy. How big a reward? Hey, guy pilot. You feel like lying down after a long ride? Feel like pounding rock a couple of years? What do you think I've been doing? That's about far enough. Let's go, Cochise. Word of friendly advice. Don't even think about it. You're making a big mistake, you know? How about letting me do the talking? Out with the piece, real slow. Careful. You sure you want to do this? Drop it. Now back up. I got such a spit shine heart. I'm gonna let you hang on to it. You know, I like you. So I'm gonna give you one last chance. Just keep walking, but leave him. I don't think so. Why should I do that? 
Do you know what's the right thing to do? I don't want to know what you think's right. He killed a man. He's got to go in. What the hell happened here? Mr. Rowan here thinks he's going to take our prisoner. Uh-huh. Three hard months of grabbing rock, eating and sleeping in the muck and mire so I could get downstream and get a little chunk of paradise. Well, now it's all wiped clean because I put my money down on the wrong guy. This is breaking my heart. You got to be putting me on. Polichke, just shoot him. Champagne caviar is starting to sound good. You still buy it? <laughs> you know, you're regular entertainment. Suppose I told you I made a mistake. I was wrong about you. Suppose I told you you're starting to look better and better to me all of a sudden. Oh, right? yeah? What makes you think I'd still be interested? Oh, you want to cut yourself a slice of this pie, don't you? Hey, believe me, the ride will be worth it. Poison dart. Now drop the gun and we'll talk about getting you the antidote. I never believe a man staring down the barrel of a gun. <laughs> well, you should this time. Duck her, please! Some people just don't get it. With that transmitter in his blood, he'll be beaming like a radio tower soon. Only a matter of time before we catch them. Flyboy here is first. Okay, then we go. Right. I don't think Mr. Owens has any idea what he's up against. Not even an inkling. I feel better than he does right now. I look okay to you. That bad you had me worried for a second. about this guy you killed. Okay, if that's the way you want it, fine by me. Let's get something straight up front. I got no axe to grind with you. You look smart enough not to kill the pilot. <laughs> They'll never catch us. I'm going down a part of the slipstream even I've never been through before. Dead, as young and fair as autumn mortal birth. Byron. What? Oh, your name. Look, Byron. I'm not gonna have a problem with you, am I? No. It'll be best for both of us if I take you in alive. I'm sure we are going to try. Well, you may think I'm mean, but I'm meaner than you think. No, I think I deserve to be punished. Don't give me that. I'm looking for salvation, crap. Because I'm not buying it. As you wish. 
And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. All those souls swept away in a moment. Buried by the convergence. Man against nature and we lost. I could have told him that up front, but nobody asked me. Maybe I am dying. I never felt so damn good. Like I said, I'm taking you in alive. And I'm collecting the reward. You gotta admit, for a second there, it got pretty hairy. I bet you peed your pants. Hello! Hey, man! Hey! Hey, little buddy. This is it. Wait a second. What happened to your handcuffs? Oh. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? I felt they become rather superfluous. Okay, Houdini. I got a few tricks up my sleeve, too. I think you'll find in time that you can trust me. Keep dreaming. Hey, welcome back, Matt. Oh, hi, Matt. <laughs> This is done yet? What was it like growing up here? Who told you I grew up here? What if I did? There is a place. Somewhere I think I belong. I didn't grow up there, but that's where I was going when they... When you... I'm sorry. This place is extraordinary. Fascinating. I'm glad you like it. Because if you give me any trouble... It's going to be the last place you ever see. You fit in here. What's it called? Thanks. Hell's Kitchen. Want some grub, Dad? <laughs> no time, Rosie. I'm pulling up steaks. I scored. Big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have your lizard skin boots? Are you kidding? My favorite boots? Forget it, Travis. He's gonna need him to wade through all that bullshit he's been slinging. <laughs> where are you headed this time? Downstream. To the settlement? Somewhere where I can set up shop. Face it, Matt. If it cost two bits to go around the world, you couldn't get out of sight. Montclair, there is my future. Yep. <laughs> Just like your future to get up and walk away. <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't make me look for you again. Matt, he fixed my boy's eyes. Look. I don't know how you did it, mister. But thanks. Thanks. Children are God's gift to man. You didn't tell me you were a healer. Cataracts. Very simple. There are no children where I am going. Hey, Mister, I'm back. Mr. Mr. Why don't you ask? He can't see. He can't see. I'm coming. He can't see. That's unbelievable. Come here. Thanks, Matt. Watch out for your old man. I'm still cashing your ass in. We didn't go this way last time. Hey, Montclair. Did Travis show you this way? What else did Matt say? Would have been quicker if he flew downstream first. Well, this is forbidden territory. What are you doing? Answer or die. You're under arrest. All of you. For carrying contraband. You hear that, boys? We're all under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I could die of embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. You want to empty those packs while I ask you some questions? Let's show them what we got, boys. Resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Yeah, right. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Your God hasn't helped out too much lately. In my next lifetime, I don't want to have to deal with all this. Oh, forget it, Tasker. No one cares about the damn reports. Yes, they do, more than ever. This is poppy seed. Best to be worth a small fortune. Burn it. Burn all of us. We'll be up to them by tomorrow. Power's low. Looks like we'll have to stream it. Damn it, Tasker. I am sick of piling rocks. There's enough life buried out there. If it weren't for the few of us left, the slime would rise so high you wouldn't be able to breathe. 
Can't you think of anything else? I did once. Convergence changed that. Yeah, well, maybe it's time to think again. What do you have in mind? I don't know. Anything. Something that will keep us in blood, I suppose. What about a mink ranch? That's your idea of paradise? You're the maestro. Why don't you tell me? Every time a piece of human trash is put under a rock pile, the world's a better place. It's our calling. Detour. Well, that's right, baby. If you got it, flaunt it. Woo! <laughs> you know, reminds me of this girl I used to know. Great chess. Still dream about her. She used to wear the shorty nighty around all the time. Mm. You know the kind that ends right about here? <laughs> oh, God, where have you been? Locked up in a monastery all your life? You might call it that. <laughs> you know, I bet you're the kind of guy that gets out of the shower and take a piss, too. Right? Is that what all your dreams are about? No. Sometimes I dream about a balloon shop. Well, it's more like a balloon factory. Thousands of balloons filling the sky with my name on them. <laughs> but I always wake up. What do you dream about? I don't. But I'd like to. Perhaps I'd dream about that place I was going to. Your home? Family? Not exactly, no. Well, what's it like? I don't know. I've never seen it. <laughs> You're hopeless. True hope is swift and flies with swallows' wings. Well, aren't you just a walking storeroom of information? Yes. You know, you got a hell of a knack for killing a conversation. Where are we? Damn it, it's getting dark. Hey, I'm trying to show you a good time. But you can't have a good time, can you? I had a good time watching the sunset. <laughs> what do you want from me? Nothing. I expect nothing. Well, good. Because the way I see it, we got two choices here. Either I let you go, or you accept it. <laughs> and I ain't about to let you go. Get some shut eye. Sleep. Do you always sleep with your eyes open? Yes. Well, don't try anything cute, or you may find yourself sleeping with them open for eternity. Eternity. Now that's an interesting concept. A dimension too far. Something's too Shut up you. and go to sleep.
You couldn't kill me. Even if I did try to escape. Oh, yeah? It takes something you don't have. Well, don't make the mistake of trying me. And don't think I'm gonna be dumb enough to take my eyes off you for a second. I was feeling your carotid pulse. I was snoring and you tried to murder me. Just like you did that other poor bastard. I was just checking for arrhythmia and episodes of ventricular tachycardia. Oh, shit. Who made you a doctor? The Grim Reaper? No. Those are signs of curarid poisoning. And? Too early to say. Well, what am I listening to you for? I told you, I feel fine. Just wanted to help. Okay. I got some good news and some bad news. Good news is we'll have a real hard time finding us. Bad news is we're lost. Man, this looks like a battlefield. You think it might be a good idea to get down there and help these people? I don't know. There's all kinds of heathens living on the stream. Man, I guess they can tell us where the hell we are. I've heard about these cults. They're weird. They worship the wind. I guess I'm gonna have to trust you here. Yes. Place. What do you call it? Hey, hey, do you know which way the settlement is? Hey, come back! Can you help?
Avatar. He wouldn't want you to stop helping others to look for him. Who did this to you people? Men with machines. Why don't I see more of their dead? We tried. The dead will be restored. Their work's written down, their footsteps recorded. People have got to learn to protect yourselves from marauders. Violence destroys the spirit. The slipstream protects us. Yeah, I can see that. Well, don't just stand there talking. If you want to do something, try helping them. A very old soul. Oh, King Cole had a merry old soul. Ariel! Why did you mount it? Come on! You get my up quick. How are the others? Many were killed. We have to concern ourselves with the living. Why has God forsaken us? False prophet, and no son of man. He's helped many of the wounded. We live a pure and virtuous life, and this is our reward. Why are we always tested in this way? Do all men live for rewards? Who are you? Why are you here? My name. I'm here because I killed a man. Then why do you wish to help me? I'm also here to serve. Get back! I didn't spend my life devoted to him, to have him die in the arms of a stranger. This is right. Don't you see? Maybe this is a sign. All that will be left of me is bits of gold in the sand. You have a soul. Do not abandon it in death. It's a pitiful thing. To have a belief that cannot be lived. To have forgiveness. When there's nothing to forgive. To have love only for those who love us. Pitiful thing. Let the slipstream take him if he's an abomination. We must test him. I was lost. Only for a moment. As I die, I wake to God. This stranger is no mortal man. By the winds dispersing and scattering the dust, and by the winds bearing the clouds, 
and by the winds passing swiftly in the air, and by the winds that distribute the divine power and judgment, God's truth will be known to us. helped you and there's no you pay him back? Bring him down. Ah, that is not for any of us to decide. The hell it isn't. All voices are in the wind, if you listen. Well, I'm listening and all I'm hearing is a lot of hot air. If God decides in his favor, then the wind will set him free. We've tried to escape technology after the convergence, but it continues to haunt us. Well, that's very interesting, but I'm not sure what it has to do with me. You must only love those who have the power to change you. Well, he's going to change me from poor to rich, and I believe in that. So I'm not leaving here without him. Now, honey, why don't you just untie me and let me get on with it? The slipstream brought you here. The slipstream will take you back. Oh, God. The generosity of women never ceases to amaze me. Tracker. Tell me where he is. Ah. He's no good to his dead. She's smart. You should listen to her. I should kill you right now is what I should do. Uh, he's at the end of a long rope. See if he's got anything on him. You can't take away what makes me dangerous. I'll make a deal with you. We get him back, you get me the antidote. And we'll split the reward money three ways. Three ways. How come so generous? You put us through all this trouble, now we're supposed to pay for it. Oh, there's a, s a slight problem. What's uh, that? Look up in the sky. These wackos are more dangerous than he is. I guess we're all gonna have to work together. I'll cover my end, word of honor. You don't have any. Here's the deal. You help us get him down, I'll give you the antidote. Then I'll shoot you. That's what I like. Teamwork and a sense of fair play. Who'd ever guessed we'd all end up good buddies? Just trying to get you mad, Tasker. It's working. You ever shoot anybody? I could never do it. They that sow the wind shall reap the whirlwind. Cut them loose. This isn't gonna hurt, is it? hot frying pants in hell for this. Don't waste your breath on him. Hell, just throw away all your feelings. Androids don't have feelings. What? You mean you didn't know? That explains why you act like you got a hell down seven in that brain box. You're a robot! God, you're a bigger sucker than I thought. Not me, you idiot. Your perfect buddy upstairs. The rest of us only pretend to be perfect and have to settle for being human. He tries to be human, but 
didn't have to settle for being perfect. Right up until the time he started deciding which of us should live or die. And that's your job, right? Well, at least you figured that out. him all the way. I'll have a shot from up there in case he screws up. Right!
Jones. Men who are really killed every day, but not you. I can see you're still kicking. Did he bring you here? Those fanatics were right about the wind. We're dead. We just don't know it. Oh, I'm quite sure we can get out of here. Yeah, right. He will. That's for sure. Up to find your friend. Why? He's either dead or dying. Then perhaps I can make it easier for... How do you mean that? Just like an android puts you where only he can get out. He does. Oh, yeah. He could have gotten it over with, but that... This is what hell is. You're stuck in a place... ...with a machine who thinks he's a man when really he's the devil. And listening to those banshee voices screaming in the wind. You forgot me. Oh, no. I'll curse you last. You got us here. Ship place somewhere downstream where the wind blows gentle and even i'm a tracker i work for the law can you see me darning nylon and weaving wicker makes a pretty picture mm. what's that a little baby balloon you know a mom pop kind of operation is it a pink one or a blue one <laughs> why not you can't get to there from here i can though you know if things have worked out differently maybe you might but they didn't and you're not and that's probably just I outlasted your partner, didn't I? Tasker is the toughest son of a bitch I ever knew. I'd die for him. Yeah, you yeah. might still. Yeah? Oh, well, that's okay, too. You know why? Because he was a commander and his father before him. He flew suicide missions to hell and back. Funny he didn't impress me. Really? You know, if you'd been in his position, you wouldn't have lasted two seconds. That's it's... all in the past. Oh. Take a look at your <coughs> future. <coughs> Sounds to me like it's your future you're worried about. That's only road dust. Oh. Ever love you? They're here. You'd better hide. about our airship place it burnt down we'll never find him what's the matter are you gonna miss me yeah we're just giving you a head start that's all
Look, I'd like you to join us, but he's going to jail. And I know he likes you, even though he hadn't said so. We only got two seats. I don't mind, I'll sit on his lap. <laughs> Wish somebody'd make me that offer. Look, you don't understand. She's perfect. She's built like a watch. There's no extra room. We're headed downstream. It's gonna be rough. Fine. to the settlement. I keep telling you, I just want to do what's right. First, I didn't believe you. Now I know you better. Careful with those solar panels. I can't see this thing getting very far. Hell, I'll take what I can get. Damn it. I got a good mind to go back up there and get my stuff back from those wind weirdos. They're not weirdos. You don't know them. They're very spiritual. The opposite of where I come from. Where's that? Downstream. It's not very far. Maybe you'll get some supplies there. It's on our way. We could even get a new plane. Yeah? They got any doctors? The best. <laughs> Health comes first, right? Right. Okay, that's where we're headed. I'm only doing this for you, because I owe you one. Fatality. Remember, we're just stopping long enough to pick up supplies because it's on our way. I know. You told me. You did? Oh, well, okay. I just didn't want you to get your hopes up. I understand. Look, don't get me wrong. I mean, one look at the situation, you can see it would never really work out. It's what's inside that counts. Exactly. And that's what his insides do best. Count. He's better with machines. Shit. He's not too good with them either. They ball in the side pocket the hard way. Hold on. Seems to be the end of our transport. What's that on your head? What? Hey, I promised you a wild last uh, ride. What happened to you? I said we wouldn't get very far. Not you.
I thought the survivors all moved to the settlement when this place was buried. What are these people trying to hide? Just trying to hang on to what they've got, like everyone else these days. I hear you. I lost all my stuff. <clears throat> my place probably not worth going back for. A few other little things like my life. Hell, I'll be lucky to break even on this one. Oh, that reward better be worth it. time we see her she'll come back we'll wait how come you're right all the time you got a crystal ball in there too no but I am perceptive <laughs> well you're not such a bad guy whatever it is you're selling she's definitely buying it Better enjoy it. Ariel, you promised not to reveal it. Need to talk to the curators. They'll never let you go again. Or them. They'll be my responsibility. They look like a nice thrash <laughs> I want to show you. I never thought I would actually see any of these artifacts. Amazing. Trojan's gone. That stood in the Empress Forum in Rome. Yeah, I guess all this stuff's really old. 16th century by a bronze of St. Peter. Must be worth a lot. Check out the body. It's a man's fear of death that makes him seek refuge in religious catechisms. Where are you taking us? Hey, how about those supplies? I was always motivated by his sense of fear, his sense of divine judgment. But now, convergence is so both his doubt and his conscience. Attempts to represent God, to, oh, to identify, to define, circumscribe, to reduce him to human shape and dimension, to confine him in sterile stone images. This junk must be worth a fortune. Has all this helped to reawaken his conscience, or has it actually been responsible for destroying it? You've got a good library. I'm sorry, but I do find this very stimulating. my duties to read nightly to my master. He had a very extensive library, but rather poor eyesight. Did you hate serving him? I don't understand. Your master, did you hate him? You credit me with the ability to hate? He was my master. Did you? You see, he was very wealthy, but a very lonely man. I was designed specially to be his companion and to look after him. I was all things to him. Nurse, brother, father, son. At first his pupil, I became his mentor, his alter ego. He thought of me as his friend. But really, I was a slave to him. As well as managing the household and certain business affairs, I traveled with him. We played chess together and had long philosophical discussions. He was quite content to be alone with me, but he was a very highly educated gentleman. Consequently, up here, I have all the words, 
thoughts, the ideas of all the great literature of the world. Shakespeare, Dickens, Cervantes, Goethe, Tolstoy. I knew you'd understand. Is there somewhere do you think we could wash and perhaps change our clothes? Of course. Where are you taking us now? Let's grab as much as we can here and get on the settlement. And will you contend? Come on, let's gear up and get on. To preserve it. <laughs> Maybe we should spend one last night here. <laughs> Dynasty. Was it carbon date prior to the conversion? History, science, imagination. What? Who's this? The human spirit, the human condition. All that stuff. Now, who is this idiot? Look, if we let people come and go, others will descend on us and devour us like jackals along with everything we work to maintain. Oh, shut up, will you? You're beginning to depress me. And give me another glass of champagne, if you please. Ah, uh, thank you. And make sure that the freezer is turned on. If we end up with warm champagne, it will be a total disaster. When I was young, I used to think life was going to be some great noble battle. And it ended up like this. Heated rooms where people only think about food and drink and playing games. They're terrified of the world outside. I walk through these halls and think maybe only fools dream about heroes, great artists and saints. I looked everywhere for someone to prove to me that my dreams weren't wrong. I'd almost given up. That's when I found you. The only thing that's real to me are those dreams and the time I've spent with you. All the rest of life is false. Hey, Byro! <laughs> Are we having fun yet? I think so. But Matthew, can it last? how to dance like that. You, on the other hand, are definitely poetry in motion. Dancing it and dirty is not being done right. Huh. What? Here, yeah, watch me. My master loved Fred Astaire movies. We had them all. One day we're going to look back on this as the good old days. What about tomorrow? Don't think about tomorrow. Don't tell me all this isn't getting through to you, because I know it is. To old Lang Syne. What does that mean? The good old days. Oh, yeah? Come here, babe. Hey, I think I got this now. Watch this.
always you have someone else. Sure. But not right now. Oh, I don't know. It's always the same here. Same problems. Same hang-ups. And the men all have the same fantasies. Be careful. My problem is, I always get exactly what I want. I'm having everything. So depressing. Oh, give me that. <laughs> I want new problems. Okay. Here's one. A guy deserves to be taken in. And your whole future is based on getting a load of dough for doing it. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. But he's your friend. And if you don't do it, you're back to scrounging in the gutter. Sooner or later, you can walk away from the gutter. But you can never crawl away. I know. I'm so bored with this body. <laughs> you're bored with this? Color. Bore me to death. Oh, yeah. Guy could get used to this kind of life real easy. Hey, Byron! Byron? You there? Byron, old buddy. He's 
fix the air conditioning. Oh. The air. Well, who is he anyway? He's a buddy of mine. Where did you see him? But we can't watch them. They were having to do more biting stuff. Oh, yes, they At have. least I am. I'm not like suggesting them. we lynch them. You guys. But we can't have them blabbing all up and down the street. While we're trying to. Ariel. I can't. You should never have brought these strangers here in the first place. We need them. One of them's down there fixing the air conditioning this morning. What? But that's impossible. Nobody can even go down there. The air is too foul to breathe. Androids don't need air. Droids? A man slept with a robot. <laughs> Lynch him. I hear they're rather mechanical in the saddle. <laughs> Only one of them is an android. Your daughter was with the human. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's still wrong. I knew you needed technological help. Yes, that's true. We need... We need all the help we can get. But you brought them here under false pretenses, didn't you? You didn't tell them they may not be allowed ever to leave. I did it for all of us. We can't imprison them. We tried that once before. But it worked last time. What do you mean? The poor man died after five miserable years to our shame and regret. No, 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 no. Everything will be destroyed if we're found out. You can't control those people out there. You're getting more and more myopic about this. It's time to bite the bullet and meet the world head on. They have to be allowed to make their own decisions. Of course, ideally, you're right. But if his friend leaves, the android will want to go with him. His knowledge and powers are far greater than any of you realize. If he stays here, he could use his potential. And so could we. His safety and ours depends on his staying. He belongs here. You're very convincing. But don't you see? You've misled them about us. So how can we know you're not misleading us about them? believe what happened to me last night. Don't tell me. You tried to get it on with the early and found out you weren't so perfect after all. <laughs> no. I fell asleep. How? <laughs> Counting electric sheep? Come on, androids don't sleep. I did. And I had a dream. <laughs> Whoa. You don't sleep, brother, and you sure as hell don't dream. It's true. It was about that place in the West at the far end of the slipstream, the place I told you about. It was at the edge of the ocean, high up above the canyons, where there are others like Nobody me. Nobody lives up there. It's too high. Not for us. Listen, I've got something to tell you. Would you like some coffee? <laughs> because I've got something to ask you. <laughs> Would you forget the coffee? Now, come here. Now, listen to me for a second. I know I know what it's like to have feelings. This is much more difficult. <laughs> Yeah, I figured when you'd gotten a taste of it, you'd understand that. Here's what I want. You see, I want to do what's right. And for me, apart from that one time, that's always meant doing as I'm told. You want to turn yourself in? Come on, you're no killer. As far as I'm concerned, the opposite. Whoever he was, he was probably asking for it anyway. Wasn't he? Yes, he was. Well, there you are. Besides, you made up for anything you did long ago. You turn yourself in now, they're just gonna throw you in the slammer and make a clean slate of you. Gone! Just like that. I know. It would be a terrible waste. It would be heartbreaking. You see, last night... Byron, buddy, it's okay. I came down here to tell you you're free to go. I beg your pardon? Well, you don't have to do that. No, I don't understand. Do you not need the reward money? <laughs> what the hell? I'd probably just blow it anyway. Well, what do I have to say? You're free. When you 
say I'm free to go? Do you mean I'm free to stay? <laughs> I mean I'm not taking you in. No more. We're in. I wanted to ask you to join me as a friend, as a partner. <laughs> I was thinking we'd keep on downstream, start that little airship company somewhere. Hell, a guy who could sew like you'd make all the difference to a small company starting out. We'd be a great team, and it wouldn't have to be all work either. I think I proved that. Hey, haven't we had a great time together? The best I've ever had. I'll never be able to repay you, but last night, Ariel said she needs me. <sighs> Man, they always say that. No, she wants me to stay here. Don't you see, she just wants to make you the last part of their collection. I'm your friend, right? Yes, you are. Then come with me then, it'll be great. <sighs> this android heaven you're talking about, what's that gonna be? A bunch of robots? A bunch of toasters up there? Matt, she says she loves me. <sighs> well, I'm real happy for you. Okay, we'll bring Ariel along too. I couldn't ask her to do that. She might say no. <sighs> I wouldn't want to be free without her. Matt, what have you done to me? Help me, tell me what to do. Is this the end of our friendship? Is this what it's like to be human? I don't think I'm up to it. You know what your problem is? You think too much. Trust your instincts. But that's the point. Can I trust my instincts? Can I be trusted with human feelings? Can you trust me? Can I trust myself? I've already taken a human life. Last night with Ariel, I wanted to be able to die. Who's in charge here? Who are you? What is the meaning of this? Who the hell are you? He's in here somewhere. All I want is the android. What android? We followed him here. What happens to him is our business. He's wanted for murder. Is that part of your business too? Your savior is a murderer? No. If he has really done something, we'll bring him here. There's no need for this. But how do we know? This is all you need to know. <laughs> we have our own laws here. And I decide what happens. We'll take care of them our way. I am tired of talking. I want that android, or piece by piece, I'll blow this place apart. And then I'll start on the living room. Get him! No, you mustn't! We know where he is. There he is! I guess I really do want you to stay. They want you in the conference room now, alone! We don't want any more trouble with him. Come on. God damn. Why is it every time I catch up with you, you just got knocked on your ass, hmm? Well, maybe so. But I keep getting up, don't I? Mm -hmm. I think maybe you've got up once too often. You won't use that thing. Oh, what makes you say that? Because, lady, I know I got to you a little. Mm -hmm. Wrong again. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta do this. This ought to keep you out of trouble for a while. You dumb son of a bitch. That was the antidote. All right, let me go. How much time did I have left? A few days. What's the difference? You go out there, Tasca will kill you. You're trying to save me twice in one day. Why should you die?
Matt. The key! Don't do this! Byron, I'm sorry. I want you to stay. No one is to blame. I'm only sorry that lives were lost. And your partner can't help you anymore. He's not leaving with you. Oh! No! Wait! Not over me! Don't shut up! I knew it'd come to this. Let's do it. Don't go. You lose. I already have.
Come on. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Pull us out of this. Pull us up. Pull us up. Come on, you're doing it. Come on. Come on. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. <laughs> save him. I'm too dangerous to be human. No, you're not. We're the ones. Find that place, the one you've been dreaming about. Come on, let's go build some of those balloons you're talking about. We'll visit him. There goes my best friend. Wrong again. That's my job. Oh, yeah? What makes you think so? Because I know I got to you a little. <laughs>